Now, the Ghana Press Union is pushing back against the proposed cybercrime bill of 2023, asserting that it could jeopardize freedom of the press and the right to expression in the country. Following the submission of a detailed 10-page position paper to the NASA Assembly Committee on Education, Training and ICT, the GPU is now calling for a thorough examination and, consulta and consultation on the bill. My report. Initially, the union submitted a five-page document outlining their main points of contention with the bill before its first reading. However, they have now enhanced their arguments in the final paper, urging for revisions to ensure that journalists and media organizations are not targeted or silenced by the proposed legislation. The Cybercrime Bill 2023, which was presented before the National Assembly in March 2024 for a first and second reading, aims to strengthen laws related to cybercrime and establish protocols for obtaining electronic evidence and international cooperation in combating cyber-related offenses. The bill also seeks to address issues such as child pornography, cyber bullying and sextortion while empowering law enforcement agencies in the fight against cybercrime. In their position paper, the Gambia Press Union raises concerns about the vago and expansive definitions of cybercrimes in the bill, warning that they could be misused to suppress dissenting voices. Of particular concern are provisions that allow for the interception and monitoring of electronic communications without judicial oversight potentially paving the way for widespread surveillance of journalists and citizens. The union's paper delves into the legal framework of the bill, analogy with international standards for promoting and safeguarding press freedom and freedom of expression in the Gambia. They highlight several provisions that they believe could infringe on these fundamental rights, including the criminalization of certain online content and activities such as child pornography and false news. The GPU also raises red flags about provisions in the bill that could criminalize behaviors like inciting violence or making derogatory remarks, alleging that the ambiguous language in these sections leaves them open to misinterpretation and potential abuse, particularly when targeting journalists. They point out that similar provisions in the criminal code have been challenged in code for their adverse impact on freedom of expression. The union calls for removal of revisions of certain sections of the bill that they deem as overly broad or in violation of international human rights standards. They make specific recommendations for amendments to ensure that the legislation aligns with principles of freedom of expression and does not unduly restrict journalistic activities or public discourse. The GPU emphasized the importance of engaging with stakeholders such as media organizations, civil society groups, and legal experts in the legislative process to ensure that any cybercrime legislation respects human rights and democratic values. They urge the National Assembly to carefully consider their position people and make necessary adjustments to protect press freedom in the country. As the National Assembly Committee on Education, Training and ICT reviews the GPU's position paper, outcome of the deliberations on the cybercrime bill is expected to have profound implications for freedom of expression in the Gambia making it imperative for lawmakers to address the concerns raised by stakeholders in their decision-making. The Gambia Press Union's firm stand for a transparent and inclusive legislative process sets a key precedent for safeguarding press freedom and freedom of expression in the Gambia. Maria Madem, reporting for Stativi News.